Her sign says journalism is not a crime. She's immediately detained by Russian police. More than 20 journalists were taken away after conducting single-person demonstrations in Moscow against the arrest of one of their former colleagues. This was the moment when Ivan Safronov was arrested on high treason charges on July the 7th. One of his lawyers said he was accused of handing state secrets to the Czech intelligence service, which then passed them on to the United States. Later, a court ordered he be held behind bars until September the 6th. For two months, Safronov had been an advisor to the head of Russia's space agency, Roscosmos, which issued a statement saying his arrest was not connected to his work there. But before that, he wrote about the military-industrial sector for leading Russian news outlets. In October last year, after an annual exercise that tested Russia's nuclear deterrent, he wrote for Vyedomosti about an intercontinental ballistic missile that had failed to launch. Safronov cited two sources close to the defence ministry, although officials denied the incident had occurred. In May, he'd written about a planned sale of Su-35 fighter jets to Egypt. That article was subsequently removed from the Commerçant website, but Washington threatened Egypt with sanctions and Safronov was later sacked. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the charges against Safronov were not connected to his journalism. But journalist Grigory Pasko, who was jailed for espionage after providing Japanese media with evidence of Russian nuclear waste dumping, is skeptical. Safronov's case comes amid ongoing concerns about press freedom in Russia. Last year, street protests followed the arrest of an investigative reporter on drug charges. He said the drugs were planted on him and the charges were later dropped. More recently, on July the 6th this year, Svetlana Prokobieva, a freelance contributor to RFERL, was fined for justifying terrorism in a commentary about a suicide bombing. She strongly proclaimed her innocence to the court. Amnesty International said the charges showed the Kremlin's aim to further erode journalistic freedoms in Russia.